Hey, this is Eric from Brain and Body Health. I'm here with Chloe, and today we're going to talk about diaphragm strengthening. So, there's a quick way that you can test out on your own to know if you need to strengthen your diaphragm uh, or not. So, the first one is if you have chronic neck pain or chronic back pain, then you've done Pilates or core strengthening and it hasn't changed your back pain, you need to strengthen your diaphragm. But uh, your diaphragm has a big impact on tension around your neck and tension around your back. So what you should do is turn your head left and right as far as you can, see what your mobility is like, give yourself a hug, twist yourself left and right, check what your mobility is, then stand up, try and touch your toes. What you then need to do is activate your diaphragm and then see if it changes your mobility at all. So the way that you can do that is you grab a straw, put it in your mouth, and then lie on your back. So in this position, push your spine down to the floor, feel your abs. You wanna try and feel like you're breathing into your belly, not up into your chest. Breathe in through the straw. There should be enough resistance with the straw that it's taking you about five seconds to do a full in breath. Breathe out however you like, but we need to suck air in through the straw. That's gonna force your diaphragm to work a lot harder. Uh, do this for a couple of rounds. Uh, you can make it a little bit harder by lifting your knees, pushing your hands against your knees and doing the same thing. Uh, but once you've done that, stand up, do those movements again. If you feel looser in your neck, looser in your torso, or looser in your low back, you need to spend some time strengthening your diaphragm uh, for a while until it stops helping you get better. Cool.